Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel 3. We are in Leaves doing our evening run through the town and there are still a few places that we need to be. One, we see here that we have a side quest with Kurt uh, going on there. We also need to find some people to potentially join Pebbles Club. That could be why we have the marking there. And we have still one building we need to explore with Milliam. Which is of course the dormitory. So let's start with that first. Who knows? Maybe uh, we can uh, take a bath uh, with Milliam? In separate ones of course. See in the female, green in the male. Was that work with Toa too? Maybe we can do that with Milliam as well. And who knows? Maybe there are other students in the dormitory that might want to join the music club. So let's get in there. I'm glad we're both able to start class without any problems. Uh, yeah. I'm still scared of being in a club by myself with Ash, but I'll try my best. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be giving you moral support. Oh, by the way, there was something I wanted to ask you about. Tatiana, do you happen to read literature like this? <gasps> it, it can't be. Where did you get this? I feel a chill in the air. Something ominous has just happened. Yeah, I think it's one of those boys love uh, books that uh, they read in the other literature club in Cold Steel 2. <laughs> I never imagined I'd find someone here who shared my interest in stories like this. I, I, I couldn't be any happier. <laughs> I feel the same way. Yareen, run. <laughs> At least for now. And yes, it does look like we have a scene in uh, the bathhouse. Alright, let's first uh, talk to everyone else on the floor before we head in there. Well, this black tea uh, Sandy made is delicious. I agree. It's just what I'd expect from the cooking club. Hmm, Maya, did you already have green tea and snacks at your club earlier? Oh, no need to worry. I have a spare stomach for each kind of tea and snack that goes with it. it is that so? It seems Maya is a type that doesn't uh, put on weight easily. I'm jealous. Yeah, me too, because that means she can eat snacks all day, all night. It doesn't affect her. Mm, whether it be sweet or savory, wherever it may be from, food is the ultimate healing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. Well, if you have a snack stomach, I can imagine so. Ah, come, get some everyone. I whipped up some wild locust soup Freddy style. Whoa. That's got a really strong smell. <laughs> it really does, huh? I remember Macarita's cooking giving off uh, all kinds of funky smells, but this is on a whole nother level. Well, I'll try it out. Sandy's actually going to eat it? Hmm. Hmm. Did it disagree with you? Uh, well, it certainly smells very strong, but hmm, this aftertaste. <laughs> so you can tell, huh? I put a little maple sugar in there. It balances out the bitterness of the locust. Yeah, the two combined to make a unique, delicate flavor. Freddy, this is amazing. These two are really something else. That soup seems kind of interesting, but I think I'll pass. And Reen, he needs to try it. Because he did say he would. Ah, I call it white locust soup, Freddy style. <laughs> seems like Sandy likes it. But, uh, what did you call it? Revolutionary? I make this all the time, though. I don't think the girls will like the texture of the locust, but... This is amazing, Freddy. This really is new and revolutionary. Well, at least somebody in the school likes his cooking. And that's a feat on all of itself. It's just uh, one point. Oh, hey, what's this? This is a dorm uh, bath. It's split up between boys and girls. What? You get a bath here? That's so cool. I wanna go in. Come on. Well, Lecter is waiting on us. But I guess a quick dip will be fine. Yes, wash up. Alrighty, let's go. 
No, like I said, it's split up between boys and girls. But will she abide by that? That's the question. She did. Whoa, this is way bigger than I expected. Did that general lady have all this built? Yeah, that's what I've heard. We only had showers in the, the old class 7 dorm, so this is pretty nice. <laughs> My man, we really did have a blast at the Emir. And playing around with those sheep uh, monsters was fun too. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You're going all over the continent for your missions, right, Milliam? Have you visited any other hot springs or baths? Oh yeah, all the time. I went to a spa with Claire in Heimdall just the other day. I also tried out the bath that Juices has mentioned, it's super duper huge. I've invited him to come join me, but he flat out refused. Well, no surprise there. You could probably stand to be a little bit more modest. <laughs> maybe. I'd like to go with Tilly sometime too. Even when we were on the same missions, we never had time to play. Oh, oh and our combat shells too. It'll be Millie Tilly with Lemmy and Sammy. <laughs> Together we'll form a band and solve mysteries. <laughs> well, I'm sure the chance will come. <laughs> Though I'm having trouble imagining Argetlum or Claim Solice uh, holding instruments. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that was a great bath. I feel ready and raring to go. <laughs> Let's get this tour back on track. Alright, alright, I hear you. The relaxing path restores one hundred of Reen's and Milliam's CP. Your bond with Milliam strengthened. Yes, already halfway there. <laughs> Good. Alright, let's uh, head upstairs, see if there are any more people up there. Could easily just uh, check like this. <laughs> Well, it's pretty quiet in the dorms before the evening. I guess uh, everyone does like to uh, stay out there with the nice weather and all. Good. Then we're gonna go out there too. So let's uh, talk to Kurt and see if it's uh, connected to Pablo or if he has another request all of his own. Oh no, this is not uh, Kurt. It's Valerie. Hmm. Oh, of course, we saw Kurt somewhere else. Yeah, that's just uh, totally on me. Hmm, it's already evening. What am I going to do? Oh, that's Valerie from class 9. I wonder if she's chosen a club yet. Well, let's ask. Oh, hello there, Valerie. Do you have a moment? Instructor Swarcer. And who in the world is that? Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Ah, I see. A modern music club, huh? Pablo's desperate for members, so I should join, is that it? Well, isn't that kind of you, instructor? Well, if you don't want to join, that's perfectly fine too. If you're considering another club, then too bad for Pablo. I'll be more than happy to give you advice either way. It's too difficult to ask the, the guys. I can do it for you. Well, no, it's not like that. Hm. If you want to do it, then you should just jump in already. Now, now, Milliam. Well, I mean, I am a little bit interested. Oh yeah? Instructor Swasher, have you heard of Northern Rock? Well, just by name. It's probably in Remetheria, not Embria and Jurai. Pretty much the whole north region of Western Sumeria. It's a specific sub-genre of rock, right? I'm a little familiar with rock, but not enough to know about any trends in it. He would have known, though, being from Jurai. Pro. Are you a fan of it? Well, somewhat. And I can also play a guitar a little. Really? Now? Sounds like we've got a match then. Yep, yep, it's decided. I suppose it might be more interesting than the student council. I guess I could go talk to him about it. Sounds good. Hmm, if I had to guess, I'd say Pablo is just about done going around the campus by now. I'll give him a call on my Arcus too. Pablo told them he'd be he also been able to find a few prospective club members across campus. They decided to gather everyone together on the main building's rooftop. <laughs> Good stuff. 
Ah, so Pablo already asked you, Gustav. Are you interested in rock music too? Yeah, I'm from near the Aragon mine, so Northumbria and Jura are practically our neighbors. I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but I grew up surrounded by people who were fans of Northern rock. That's sad. I'm a total novice when it comes to instruments. Well, learning that is part of the club experience. By the way, can you play in any instruments, Pablo? <laughs> can I say I got any experience, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Should be a uh, ne bother. Think I'll ask someone who's some uh, experience to show us the ropes, though. I didn't say I joined yet. Ah, take your fine way joining the student council then. No. <laughs> then you'll uh, just have to suck it up and give you a bash. I'll do my best not to bother you. Uh, well, I guess I've got no choice. Very well. I'll join the modern music club. <laughs> then it decided. Hey, hey, fun fact. Reen played guitar before. So if you need some tips, go and bug him anytime. Ah, yeah? Guess we can ask for a cheeky bit of help every now and then. <laughs> well, I don't know how much help I can be, but I'll see what I can do. Anyway, here's the start of the modern music club. Oh, thanks, lords! <laughs> thanks, lords! <laughs> Cheers to both of you for helping Wood. I still don't know if it's gonna be... It looks... It sounds more... It reads more like a, maybe a Canadian accent? Mm, I don't know. It, it's definitely an accent. We're sure about that. And it sounds a lot like an, uh, another uh, former... Uh, well, let's just say a student we know. And of course, quest completed. Ah, I'm actually pretty curious about the drums. I should at least go buy some uh, sticks in Heimdall. I may be experienced, but I didn't sign up to hold hands and babysit. Oh well, it'll be a good way to pass the time at the very least. Ah, if it is gonna be on guitar, I'll, I'll take the bass. I have to admit, I'm pretty excited about this. Well, then that's a good thing. And at least we got a club uh, with members that are really looking forward to doing so. Alright, Prince Campus Quest. Getting the band together. Good. Yeah, I think uh, that's exactly what we were hoping for. Now the only thing we have to do is do uh, our uh, bonding events. So we know Toa is downstairs, so let's make a save right in front of the door, so we can reload it as soon as it's done. I need to go put together documents for the field exercises while I have the time. Please, you two should go and enjoy yourself. I feel bad leaving all of this to Toa. Yes. Let me help you put all those documents together, Toa. I mean, if it's for the field exercises, I should be pitching in anyway. Maureen, but don't you need to show Milliam around? Sorry, Milliam, is it okay if we continue to turn a bit? <laughs> no problemo. Actually, let me help out too. After coming all this way, it's the least I can do for you guys. Thanks, Milliam. There you have it. Well, when you put it like that, how can I say no? I have a list of books I need. Can I get you two to find the ones uh, with a check mark by them? Understood. <laughs> Just leave it to me. The two of them got uh, the list from Toa and went off in search of the documents. It should be there somewhere, right? <laughs> Alright, I found everything we needed off the shelf. I'm done over here too! <laughs> wow, thanks you two, you really helped me out a lot. It was all thanks to your neatly organized list. The only shelves we have left are these. Alrighty, let's show these shelves who's boss! Oh, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> it's the intelligence division. Forgot they need me to check in periodically. Is everything okay? Eh, it's all good. Don't worry about me. Be right back. There isn't much left, so how about we finish up uh, now? Okay, sounds good. I 
I'm surprised at what a good selection this library has. Military textbooks, documents on different regions, back issues of the Imperial Chronicle, even novels. For some reason, it's really satisfying to see a complete set of heart uh, to find novels. <laughs> I feel free to come in here and read all you'd like. If you will make uh, good use of the library, I feel like my hard work was worth it. Wait, are you saying you gathered all these books? <laughs> no, 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 I just wrote up the catalog. The principal said uh, I must have seen a lot of documents while working for the NGOs, so she put me in charge of it. Writing up a catalog of everything in this entire library by yourself? Isn't that a pretty unreasonable thing to ask? That's sad. I'm even more amazed you were actually able to do it. Aww, uh, it's no big deal, really. But if I'd known we'd be doing field exercises like this, I would have found more material that covers combat. If we, have, we aren't prepared and the students get hurt, or you, like during the Civil War, the man... Toa. Oh, sorry, there's no time for that now. We need to focus on getting all these documents, the last one is up here. I've almost got it. Oh. You can leave the high uh, up ones to me. What? Toa. Green. Don't worry. No matter what danger awaits us, I'll do everything in my power to bring everyone back home safely. Students and instructors both. I protect anyone and everyone within my reach, no matter what. Yeah, I know you will. I'm counting on you, Reen. Eh? What's going on here? <laughs> that look... Perfection. M Milliam, this, this isn't what it looks like. Oh yeah, because it looks like a super rad hug. I gotta get in on this action. Praise yourself. Milliam. <laughs> After digging themselves out of the resulting book avalanche, the three of them finished gathering the documents. Your bond with Toa strengthened. Toa's bond increased to three. I have to say, that was a brilliant bonding event, yeah. But uh, I am determined with uh, Juno. I think it's the right decision. <laughs> you know, today really brought back memories of when we were both students. Like the time when I lost my balance and you... Oh, that's right. I didn't have any time to think and just... And that's enough. It seems like we're both uh, remember. Uh, did I say something wrong? You tell me, lady killer. <laughs> yeah, it still is uh, an embarrassing thought for her, apparently. Alright, that is uh, Toa's bonding event. Sadly, we know it's gonna happen. We're gonna reload. And everybody would have forgotten about that bonding event. Alright, I think then now it's time for us to head out to the field. No, we're gonna go out here and just walk around. It's fine. The campus uh, is not as big as uh, the original one from Cold Steel 2. It's a bit more organized. All right, so let's see if we can find Juna and see if she uh, wants our help. It would be a very waste of a bonding event if uh, we're gonna try to bond with her. She said, "Nope, no way, no how." Yeah. That's uh, awesome nicely. Ah, huh. oh, shoot. It's <laughs> pretty hard. Hey, Juno. What are you up to uh, out here? <laughs> Nothing. I was just seeing how the racket uh, felt the swing. Louise is uh, going to teach me how to play tennis later, so we can start a tennis club. Oh, tennis. I hear that's a popular sport in Ramiferia. You've got a great motor skill, so that will be perfect for you. Hmm, <laughs> thanks, I guess. By the way, who is she? I've never seen her before. She's a cute little thing, isn't she? Are you helping her find her parents or something? Oh, no, no, she's... <laughs> oh, you're one of Reen's students. <laughs> nice to meet ya. My name is Milliam Orion. I'm uh, Tilly's big sis and one of the veterans of Class 7ers. Veteran Class 7er? And Orion is... 
Seriously, who is she? <laughs> well, it'll take a while to explain everything. I seem busy, so I'll give you the whole story another time. Uh, okay then. Anyway, I need to get back to practice, so see you later. Alright, here we go. I need to get at least the basic form down before we start our club stuff. <laughs> she's a hard worker, isn't she? Yeah, seems like she's really into it. It'd be great if I could help her out somehow. Let's go for it. Oh, maybe it'd be a good way to help. Sorry, Million, but do you mind if you put a pause on the tour for a bit? <laughs> sure, but... Wait, Reen, are you... <laughs> Typical Reen, fine, I'm gonna help too. Thanks, Million. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Okay, I'm all set for the club to start. I'll work hard with Jessica and Louise. Good job, Yuna. What? What? Instructor? You're still here? Wait, the tennis balls. <laughs> Looks like you finally noticed. Oh, there's another one over there. Out of the way, coming through. N no way. Were you picking up after me the whole time? I was wondering why the basket wasn't running out of balls. <laughs> you really didn't notice us at all? That's some serious concentration. I was watching you for a while. It's amazing how much better you've got in a short time. Looks to me like the tennis club is off to a promising start. <laughs> Leave me alone. Ah, I don't want to have to owe you anything for this. You don't owe me anything. I told you yesterday I was planning to help you with your guys' club activities. Liam helped out too. I only did what the instructor would be expected to do. Anyway, good job. And good luck with the tennis club. If you run into any problems, just let me know. I'll come running, I promise. Uh, there are still many barriers between Crossbow and his future. But we will overcome them. Juna, I want you to fight and struggle to overcome your own barriers too. And if anything happens, I'll come running, I promise. Oh, why does he have to remind me of him? Huh? Is something wrong? Oh, oh, it's nothing! Ah, whatever, whether or not I call you for help, I plan to give the club everything I've got. And... Thanks for picking up the balls. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, you too. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but you do seem closer all of a sudden. Oh, that, that's not... <laughs> Afterwards, they all helped put the balls back into the storehouse. Your bond with Juna strengthened. Yeah, sorely needed. <laughs> uh, thanks for your help today. Jeez, why does he have to remind me of... Huh? Of what? Nothing, never mind. Well, they do have the same kind of attitude, don't they? Always willing to help uh, anyone uh, they come across, never thinking about their own safety or anything like that. Yeah, there are some similarities to those two. Alright, that means we have everything done, we did our bonding events, that means it's time for us to head for the bakery with Altina. And uh, let the sisters meet up for a bit. Maybe we can eat uh, some cake together. I think that would be definitely be nice. And this is a bakery after all, so we should be able to get that at least. I don't think I forgot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have another event. I totally forgot about that. It's Radio Trista time. <laughs> Good thing uh, I saw it on the map, because I would have totally forgotten about that. I thought the people who worked on radio shows would be cooler. You know, like, they all seem like cool people on the air. Which is why I decided to work here, but they only made me do random busy work and they pair me up with a weirdo monk. <sighs> it's so boring. Ah, come on, you'll warm up to monk. He's not that bad, right?
Ah, Reen, is that the million we've got uh, there over uh, with you? It's been quite a while, hasn't it? <laughs> About a year or so, yeah. You look better than ever, Monk. You even seem a bit happier. Uh, well, I have been getting um, out more since I started working here. Anyhow, Reen, you seem to be getting around a lot, just like when you were a student. Are you planning on taking your class anywhere outside leaves? <laughs> well, actually... Reen told Monk about the field exercises. Ah, so now the entire branch campus is doing what only you guys in class 7 used to do. I'm looking forward to all the good stories I'll be able to tell on the radio. Ah, that's right. You always referenced uh, our exploits in the old class 7 in your radio material. <laughs> yeah, I thought I always uh, had my own little twist to all of your little escapades. But I'm bummed out I can't really interview the students. Unless a certain someone would be willing to provide me with a story. Are you trying to say that? Oh, that you want to ask Reen? Well, I guess you could say that. I know you're going to be working, so I shouldn't be asking you this, but... If you could give me some good material to work with... My job would be a lot easier. Can you help me spice things up at Radio Trista? In that case, sure. Should I contact you through the Arcus when I have new material? <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Thanks, Reen. Oh, nothing like uh, having friends to help you out. <laughs> Wowee, Monk. You've got him pretty good at negotiating. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, and he's really working the like uh, emotional angle for being old friends. Hey, whatever works. Alright then, Reen. I can't wait to see your new material. <laughs> it's so nice to have friends. I've actually got two more meetings today, so I'm really glad I was able to squeeze you in. Sounds like they're keeping you busy. I take these uh, meetings have to do with the content of your show? Well, that's right. Uh, today we'll be finalizing the script and figuring out casting. I was uh, actually appointed director of a short drama series. Wow! Director, huh? <laughs> that's pretty amazing, Monk. You've only just joined the team and they're already giving you a huge job. Way to go, radio nerd! <laughs> ah, stop, you're embarrassing me. It's just a little thing, and they're broadcasting it in the early morning. But I think that makes doing it uh, right so much more important. I may start small, but if it's good, I'll have more and more people tuning in. <laughs> uh, just the thought of it is getting me all tingly. Well, you'll have at least one listener, me. Make that two. We're rooting for you, Monk. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, the both of you. Yeah. Monk, he may be a bit weird, but when it comes down to it, he does seem like a really decent guy, doesn't he? <laughs> Alright. And we almost forgot about him. What does that say about us, right? <laughs> Alright, let's get uh, into the bakery uh, cafe. Oh, so good. Oh, it's just normal toast with butter, but why is it so good? Is it because the owner is so pretty? No, that can't be it. <laughs> well, with that kind of advertisement, I really want to try it out myself. Oh, the bread looks so good. Well, hello there. Go ahead to choose any bread you'd like. I want this one, this one, and this one, and this one too. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it to just one or two at least. <laughs> oh, I have plenty more, so take your time. I have crispy baguettes and sweet butter rolls. I especially recommend the kind with raisins. <laughs> and they all look so good. I might as well get some too while we're at it. Mm, special pancakes. Hey, what are you doing here, Altina? I'm recovering my energy by supplementing my sugar intake. Today was fairly tiring. But I'm proud of you for picking your club. I hope you have fun swimming with uh, Leonora and the others. Well, it won't be official until the school approves it. I'm just glad you were able to make a decision. Oh, you're gonna be in a club? Okay, I'll cheer you on too. I will try to persevere for as long as I can. How was your... That voice. Hey Tilly, how you been? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what is she doing here? Now, now, Altina, she's just here on business. I was giving her a tour around the city. Oh, long time no see, Tilly. The last time I saw you was that joint mission last year. How's Sammy doing? Yes, it's been a while. And can you stop calling me Tilly? But, but, your name kinda hard to say, you know. You can call us Millie and Lemmy. I will not. And I never accepted your name for claim, Soleil. <laughs> but it's easier to remember. Well, Milliam seems happy at least. I heard they did some missions together last year. Hello, this is Reen. You don't need to tell me your name. I know who uh, I called. Huh? Is this Professor Smith? Ah, uh, now that the briefing is over, you must have some free time. Prepare yourself and come to Einel Keep. Is this what you were talking about? I'm sorry, but uh, I'm giving an acquaintance a tour right now. Ah, the Charles von the Division. Perfect, bring her with you. Come here to the moment you're ready. And uh, don't keep me waiting. He hung up. He's demanding as always. What's up, Reen? That call. I don't really know, but... Reen told Milliam about Smith's call. Ah, that place sounds fun. So, should we get going? Are you sure, Milliam? What about a tour? <laughs> oh, that's fine. I already got to see Tilly. And I want to see Old Man Smith, too. Well, he did make it uh, seem like it's important. Alright, then uh, once we're ready... I will accompany you. Huh? He said, the child from the Intelligent Division. That could refer to me as well. Besides, he didn't specify the number of people. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go, let's go. Millie and Tilly, Lemmy and Sammy, we're the ultimate quartet. Please don't affiliate me with you. <laughs> now, now, you two. Once I'm ready to go to the keep, I'll come talk to you. You still have some pancakes to work through, so take your time. Understood. I shall proceed to stand by. Join Altina and head to the keep to advance the main story. Please note that once you do, any bonding event, quest and sub-event for the current day will disappear. Well, so far the game is really lenient when it comes to... Uh, uh, events and stuff like that. It really warns you and stuff. That's good, actually. I like that. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I've gathered everything. I talked to everyone, did all the events I could find. I, th I think we're good. I think we're good. And meeting up with Smith, I have a feeling we're gonna do some panzer testing. I don't know why, but that's the feeling that I have. Because he wasn't there in the hangar earlier, and they're getting ready for the mission, which does involve Panzer units, so it would feel right, right? I can imagine it's gonna be like another level of testing uh, through the uh, lower levels of the uh, fortress. That seems too soon and okay. we don't have an entire class with us in order to do that. So it has to be something like that. Something we can maybe um, use our own uh, unit form, right? As the Ashen Chevalier. I will wait here. Please instruct me when you are heading to Einel Keep. I should be thoroughly prepared if there's anything I forgot to do. Join Altina and head to the keep to advance the main story. Please note that bonding events, quests and sub-events will disappear. Hmm... I'm slightly hesitant because of one thing, because it does say advance the main story. So if I'm right and that this involves some testing with panzer units and stuff like that, we will be entering multiple combats back to back and there will be discussions going around those combat situations. And it might take more than 5 or 10 minutes that we have left in this episode. And I don't have time today to go far over it. And I don't feel like I want to rush it. You know what? For today? Sorry, I still have things to do. Just a little longer, Tilly. Understood. I will continue to stand by. I will leave it here for now, and in the meantime, I will just uh, do an episode, gather the cards that we had uh, with um, 
Uh, what was the guy who was standing with Kurt in the dormitory that had the cards above his head? Uh, the names, I'm getting better at them, at recognizing the people and what they're called, but I'm not fully there yet. Uh, let's see where Kurt is. The should be the best thing. I think the school rooftop would be the closest way to get there. Because yeah, we might as well. Sydney, yes, that was his name. Yeah, I will remember at some point. Don't worry about it. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, let's add those cards. Shall we leave it at those two for now? Because we have no idea how useful they will be. Alright, let's uh, do one more match to f uh, finish off the episode. I think that would be a nice one. Alright, game on! Instructorine, you start. Yeah, I, I don't know if we're going to be strong enough uh, to uh, win everything, but we're definitely going to be do our best. And I think the reason why it's nice to put Plex out of it is because we start with minimal magic that we can't use it. So we might as well get the high card out of there. Yes. Alright. So who would be better? <laughs> we cannot attack. <laughs> Then uh, we move. Not on the first turn. Okay, we can do that. It's my turn, right? I guess I summoned this. There's no way you're getting out of this. Okay, now we have three. Yeah, and these ones, they're perfect for my ranged character. Because he can get out of range, get buffed up like crazy, and then kill everything in front of him. Alright, so... Uh, I think it was plus one if you have the right element, right? Or plus two. I don't know, we can try it out. That's one. Can't take the back row, I guess, since that the thing needs to be removed first. I want to try it out. A minus two. Okay, so it is uh, plus one if you have the right element, not plus two. Alright, good to do. No. This card can act twice. Ooh, that's actually quite dangerous, isn't it? Uh, this one can attack. So, if we use this one on this one, it will have enough power to destroy that one. And we won't have anything against us, because he has minus one attack because of the opposing element. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, are you taking it easy on me? No, I'm trying not to. Right, this uh, evened out. Ah, uh, come on, we need a ranged character right now. <laughs> no! Uh, HP up. Definitely. Ah, oh, she's already on five. It's, it's, it's trying to do an overwhelming tactic, isn't it? And that one is still the same. Remove it. 
was not uh, doing anything for us. Nice as well. I uh, can't perform action until next turn. Do we want to attack her? Because with five, it's a bit much. Might need to take it easy. Festus? Yeah, that was our best card and definitely hurting her dharmas. Ah, uh, not my card again. That's, that's the only downside when you have a full deck. More cards before you can get the one you want, potentially. Alright, three defense. That's uh, not bad. Uh, bad against um, Earth, it seems. Yeah, that would be a definite... Uh, ow. Hmm. I think I will wait until they attack it. I think it will be the better choice. Uh, it's a good tactic, overwhelming your own fighter. Because it means that anything that attacks it that uh, the fighter can counter will definitely destroy it. Making it five, hitting her will be eight. Will not be enough uh, to do anything about it. And having those two attack will still destroy my Dharma, so it would be a waste of my blaze, I guess. But I'll be able to destroy that one just by uh, one alone. Why can I attack now? Is it because I did. Uh, Put this on it? No. Hmm. And we'll see how it goes. I might lose this one, but I will then do a rematch in between the, uh, the episodes, definitely. Favorites. Yeah, but I have to be careful with this one because she can definitely mess him up for a bit. And if I put my character on that, he will get one uh, attack and one defense point extra, which make it, well, at least survive our attack of our fighter. Mm. But the other one would then kill mine, so we'll have to see. Because at the moment, I feel like I might, yeah, be dead. <laughs> To be honest, Sydney fought really, really well, but I think I can win this. I think I can. But, uh, well, that's uh, Vintage Masters, isn't it? I like it. I don't know why. There's something to it that's really interesting. I'm still trying to figure out how best to compose a deck and how to play with it. But it's nice. It is really, really nice. So for now, we'll, let's, we'll leave it here. And next time, we're going to continue on with, of course, Einel Keep. So for now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, 
subscribe now and be back next time as we continue the main story and uh, do some testing with Dr. Schmidt. <laughs> See you then. Bye bye.